When you think everything is someone else's fault, you will suffer a lot. When you realize that everything springs only from yourself, you will learn both peace and joy. Dalai Lama. It's very, very easy to slip into the victim mindset, especially in today's society where it's almost celebrated to be a victim. It's almost like every single person wants to go out of their way to present themselves as a victim because that means someone will pat our heads, someone will give us hug, and ultimately I think people just want to be loved. So we think if we just say, oh, you know, this is sad and this is sad, we can attract people who will just give us a hug and tell us it's okay. And while all of us need love, victim mindset is never the way to go. And the longer you stay in that mindset, the harder it is to get out. It is one of those little parasites that infiltrates your being so deeply that you can almost not notice that you're living that way. I work on my core, my self-esteem, my abilities every single day. And I'm very aware of the victim mindset mentality and even I slip in it from time to time. I think it's very natural. I think it's just something that our culture has presented us with and it's natural to slip into it. But you have the power to get out of it. If I'm in a difficult situation where I feel like someone mistreated me, even then I look at the situation and think, okay, how could I put myself in a situation next time where I don't feel this way. How can I be in true power of me? And I want you to start thinking that way because that means that when you wake up and you think, oh, something's not going my way, you don't blame the world. You don't blame the circumstances. You don't blame your family, your genetics, whatever. You just say to yourself, okay, I'm in this situation because of me. So I will think of ways how I can get out of the situation. I know you might want to believe that some people are just naturally happy. Maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Maybe some babies are born happy and stay happy, maybe. But the majority of us, the majority of people who choose to be successful and be happy, it's exactly that. We chose that. We chose to live in a way that is beautiful and sustainable and that brings us fulfillment. I want you to understand that everything you're going through in your life, it is a choice. There are consequences for your choices. And if you want to live your dream life, you have to consciously choose the right things for yourself every single day. I'm all about quotes today, but I do want to read you another one that I really, really love. There are two primary choices in life, to accept conditions as they exist or accept the responsibility for changing them. Dennis Waitley. And that is that. You can accept the conditions. You have that free choice as a free human on this planet. You can accept those conditions or you can accept the responsibility that you will change your conditions. I never have lived in a way where I thought, okay, I'm just like that. I have spent my entire life with this philosophy of growing and becoming a better person in every possible way that I can. I was a very emotional child, crazy emotional child when I was little. I would have these tantrums. I punched a hole in my sister's door, okay, when we were fighting. And through my teenage years, I was very stressed about everything and I was emotional. If I would have accepted that as just my life, I would be probably diagnosed now with some sort of an anxiety order, order, disorder. But I didn't accept my conditions. I worked through my emotions. I practiced different habits. I meditated. I started walking and I became peaceful. I want a dream life where I can travel. Okay, I need to make money. How will I do it? I make a plan and I go for it. Everything that I create, everything that I have created, everything that I will create, everything is my responsibility. If I'm unhappy, it's my responsibility. If I'm happy, it's my responsibility. And while responsibility as a word might seem heavy, especially if you fear it in your daily life, 
Let me tell you that it's one of those responsibilities that's liberating because you come to a realization in your life that no one's coming to save you, no one's coming to get you, you have the power to get yourself out of wherever you are. And yes, it might take some work, but you can do this. No one else holds that power except you. There will always be people who will comment or say or give their opinions on the fact of why they want to stay victims or why they are victims. And that's fine. That is your freedom and that is your life and that is your choice. But I choose to take that responsibility and I hope you do too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video inspired you to remember that your happiness in your life is in your hands. Don't waste it. Enjoy it to the fullest. Thanks guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.